this review is for the uh, 7 inch mini smart book or notebook wireless book whatever it's called I bought this for $100 about 110 after shipping from a seller called I think his name was admon 347 on eBay uh, this 7 inch mini notebook came three days later because I got the really really quick shipping uh, let's just go over the ports real fast first got an SD card slot and you insert it kinda upside down like have a headphone port which mine has decided to stop working a microphone jack some indicator lights which tell you the charging and the power the uh, keyboard lights you know caps lock scroll lock number lock or I'm not sure two USB ports which are said to be for mouse or keyboard but it works either way a USB port Ethernet Ethernet and a PSU okay uh, what I like about this netbook was initially it had Windows CE 6 that was good it had YouTube app on it and it worked but recently um, YouTube app decided to fail or quit because uh, YouTube site script changed and uh, that wasn't going to cut it for me because that's what I wanted this machine for was to be able to watch YouTube videos access Facebook chat do that and whatnot and I actually liked the Windows interface but parts of it were failing and giving me trouble so I went elsewhere and um, right now I wound up a droid or Android I'll put the link in the sidebar for this as you can see Android Android OS for the cell phone it's version 1.5.2 and this does boot up a little bit slower than Windows but I think it's way more worth it when it boots because you can watch YouTube with this you can chat with your Facebook buddies on this. You can check your Facebook on this. You can check your MySpace on this. You can download all the apps for the Android phone, except for a few which are phone specific, which, I mean, it's just kind of pick and choose. Um, only problem I ever had with it is maybe the mouse might not show up, but, I, yep, it's there. Of course, this Android is made for a touch screen, so it's a little different, but if you play with some of the settings, you can get it to work pretty good. I've got it to work to my liking. And it just works better. It's just, um, it's more of a play type operating system, and that's what makes it good. As you can see, I've got my own background. Got my own background there. And um, just the tripod a bit. Got my own background. Um, that's the Ohio River. And I have some apps installed, one of them being Opera. And that's my favorite part of this thing. I'll show you. Just tap Opera opens it loads it's Opera Mini and um, let me back off here got Opera Mini and go to the address bar and it opens this I'm not too crazy about that and this is the part that I you have to right click for OK on some of these. But we're processing. And look at there, YouTube. Uh, John Cooper Life in a Day. Brings up a video description and a video quality selection. You just tap watch video. And if I had speakers or headphone, my headphone jack is messed up, you get this. Not the greatest quality in the world, but it's working. And it's big, so you can see it. Audio is OK. So, yeah. Escape is back. I'm not sure why. Um, for some reason, Opera doesn't seem to want to open my Facebook chat, but you can get on Mebo with this, um, the browser that comes with. You have this. Of course, this is your Android. I'm learning a lot about Android, but I believe it's based on Linux, which is why I'm kind of familiar with it. You have ThemeFrame, Opera Mini as I installed. I'll provide a link in the sidebar so you can download that and install it to your computer. And I'll provide a link for the um, Android itself install. Um, there's also a video that shows you a little bit more about it. Uh, I'll provide a link for that too. Got Peacock Photo, Peacock Video, Settings, Snake, a little game, Music, Maps. Maps is a neat app. It's factory with the Android. If you have an Android phone, you probably know all about this. 
But what's cool was maps like Google Maps, but uh, built into the computer. Pretty cool. Um, several other apps in here, I'm sure, that are useful. But uh, I highly recommend this. If you're fed up with your Windows CE 6 and you're just looking for an answer, you can do so much more with this operating system than you can with CE 6. Like, you may lose out on a few, like, word processing program programs, but, um, I mean, you could probably re-download those from here for Android, and it would work just as good. And if you can put up a little slower boot time, it's not much slower, and just a little bit of learning, I mean, it's, it's perfect. I mean, it really does, it works great. It makes these netbooks really come to life. So that's my review for the, uh, 7-inch mini netbook running Android. Um, provide links in the sidebar for everything I've described and uh, I guess that'll do it.